NMDA glutamate receptors, ligand binding domain. Blue N1 and pink and blue N2A in light green preferably form stable heterodimer. Blue N1 binds to glycine and blue N2A binds to glutamate at clefts between the two lobes. Both blue N1 in red and blue N2A in green have larger loop 1 with highlighted additional anti-parallel beta strands stabilized by disulfide bonds in yellow, compared to AMPA receptors in blue. Heterodimeric interaction is mediated by salt bridges and hydrophobic interactions, mostly between lobe 1 of the two subunits in solid colors. Red, blue and one tyrosine 535 at the dimer interface at the hinge of the two lobes is responsible for slow deactivation. Red, blue and one agonist glycine binds to the groove between two lobes. Green blue N1 antagonist DCKA keeps the two lobes 24 degrees more open than closed glycine bound form in red. Cleft opening of glue N1 by antagonist DCKA in yellow compared to red with the gonist glycine does not affect glue N2A conformation in green and cyan, or interaction with glue N2A. Glue N2A antagonist AP5 in cyan opens the two lobes by 14 degrees from the closed glutamate bound form in green. Red or yellow glue N1 conformation or glue N2A interaction with glue N1 is not affected. Similar residues of NR2A interact with glutamate or AP5. Bulky phosphono group of AP5 pushes and rearranges the orientation of lobe 2 in pale colors. 